Hello and you want to be watching now late on YouTube, Hinning here along with The Tiger And welcome to Saturday Sideshow where we'll, today we'll be continuing with Gat Gato Roboto yeah, this, <laughs> this was a cute little thing uh, last next Sunday, huh? Yeah, it, it, it's interesting Yeah, it, it's, it's a love letter to Metroid, obviously And... Yeah, from all I've seen about people did react positively to it. Uh, oh, we've only got 6.3% in. But that's probably for 100% stuff or so. But we'll see how long. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of hoping to finish this today, or at least its main story, because I don't really do 100% on streams. And yeah, I've reconfigured the controls a bit to work with one hand. So now I have it set to WSD, space, Q, and shift. If you're gonna do 100% of the screen, you don't want to be in those games that are really easy to do that way. Yeah. And you don't know there are many games that are far from easy to do that way. Let's oh. get through here without falling into the water. Yep, and people forget. I met my niece today for the first time. Okay. And yes, she pulled my beard. <laughs> of course. Well, try to look at me, just look dreamily at me and thought, cat in my beard. Then she tried to pull it. <laughs> she must have thought it was a cat or something. I'm not going to open this at the moment. Frogs <laughs> uh, to deal with. But yeah, now I have been had my beard pulled by both my <laughs> nephew and niece. I want to put image there. So the nephew was a bit more wrong. He just went and grabbed. Of yeah, you're probably going to be Uncle Beardpool, huh? Probably. Well, of my, my brothers, I'm the one who did this thing. The other ones are keeping each other, you know, a bit shorter than you used to you have. Possibly because they've seen how the kids react. <laughs> Actually, they will be a do to the kids. Okay, there is no way that we're going to reach up that high without some sort of jumping or climbing However, like I said this, they don't have the same team grow as me. Apparently, I'm the one that had the help with the grow of my, of my brothers. Only the one other brother has the team grow not as me. Alright, alright. I have a few experiment on folks. Uh, yeah, I've decided on a. for people watching, uh, I've decided on a few things to do recently. A bit of policy change, you could think and say. Uh, from now on, I'm going to try and. You know, games that I'm going to try, I'm going to give five minutes of uh, playtime before I stream, just to see if they work and such, to avoid, well, uh, <laughs> stuff like with Johnson Kabuto. And yeah. Yeah, I also... Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, also, I've started adding end screens to my videos on YouTube, for which I put them into a different... Which I, for which I run them through uh, a video editing program to add in a different end card to it uh, that better fits uh, that has a better fit for the oh, what it shows on there. Uh, yep, that was a bad idea. Uh, I think I might change up 
that a little bit that I used the same outro for uh, we're back here. So you use the same outro on the stream and those videos. Basically have the text move to the side. Uh, that might look a bit odd though. But... Yeah, well, you probably wouldn't be too bad. True, since there it would have the videos showing up on the side. <laughs> but on the Twitch it would probably look a bit odd. I'll have to figure out how to... Uh worked it out. I'm not, I'm not too amazing, if at all, with the video program that I'm using. Though I found another one that has been advised, and is free of course, because I'm a cheap ass. Uh, let's see there. Wasn't there a map? Or was there a map rooms? I keep forgetting. Hey. In the original Metroid, I'm pretty sure there weren't any map rooms. Or, what I mean is, in the original Metroid, I'm pretty sure you didn't have a map to start with. You've been here. But there were, I think, map rooms that you could use to look around. Hey? Hmm. I'm not sure how much I've got. I have... I have enough health to just rush through a bit. Yeah, just remember you are a cat, not Mario. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I thought but, yeah, I thought one shot would take like, it out there. You thought that the gears were the boss in the past to uh, like we do now that we thought a bit earlier to prepare to prepare uh, everything is ready. And uh, even back then, far back, I think I could guess that uh, before we start this thing, we try and make sure something will work. I mean, it could be a little strong, and I don't know why we dropped it with all the other Yeah, and also, yeah, uh, yeah, I I sort of said it uh, yesterday already that I was going to push the, the stream time back. This yeah, at first I was going to say if it ha this happens tomorrow again, that I'll definitely push things back to 8 p.m. Uh, but then I just got frustrated enough to just, <laughs> to just push it back all the way. Same. And yeah, now we're late today again, so now it's more than certain. Uh, yes, yeah, e when even on the weekend you're having to push things back or start late. Uh, yeah, then, then it just really gets frustrating. Yeah. I some oh, here's the map. Escape. Map in that. Uh, that's, that's the thing. I think it would be even more frustrating if you had it as a proper job, like you, you did get paid for it at all. Yeah. Well, that would be extremely frustrating. Okay, to the right. I knew that there was a map, but <laughs> I didn't see a map key once uh, when I was rebinding. We can't go that way, so we have to go under. Yeah, even I remember that there was a map. We can't break that open. Sturdy pipes. Uh, yeah, th th this game is basically Metroid Lite for new players. And, yeah, I th I'd say this probably works as a good intro for people who'd be interested in giving Metroid a try. <laughs> well, speaking of Metroid, uh, there's been no news on Metroid Prime 4, but there has been... there ha a new Met uh, 2D Metroid has been announced, Metroid Dread. Which looks to... Which looks to be as... Uh, similar to Metroid Fusion. In that, uh, yeah, you're going to be a bit... <laughs> you're not going to be ultra-powerful. Not that you'd be in any of the... In the Metroid games. At least not early on. 
And yeah, I'd say it, it looks promising, but of always trailers are supposed to make things look promising. Yeah. Okay, no health. No, that reminds me of a, a disaster of a movie. And that was? Oh, uh, it was basically a version of a snow where they ended up with dwarfs. And it had a good review and all that. However, it was basically ruined before it hit cinema due to whoever was supposed to do the commercials for it. Actually, then they show give it the opposite message what they want you to know. Okay. That was, that was, yeah, it was idiotic. They made it appear that it was all about fat shaming and short shaming. Which was about when it in fact was actually about exactly who you are. Just the, whatever was for the marketing in, in uh, plan to commercialize it, you have to pay it for that. Yeah, marketing people aren't always the brightest. Yeah. And some sometimes you have those that even specifically uh, specifically do stuff like that to well, basically go for bad publicity is good publicity, that sort of thinking. Yeah. Or this this was so bad that not many people watched it and some even tried to sue them the movie for company for it. Okay. Due to yeah, the posters are so good that bad. And I think it was the enemy before quite furious over whoever made the posters. Uh, do you know the name of that movie perhaps then? Uh, or should I be I able to find it by that bad <laughs> Snow White movie? Actually, I think you, you, you may know it from a certain YouTuber, uh, Saber Spark. You have to, who was the one who knew the movie? I don't think I've seen Saber Spark stuff in quite a while. I, or, I, uh, I might be. I oh, don't know. I, I haven't seen Saber Spark's work in a while, I think. It's a different guy, one of his friends that I've been seeing reasonably late, lately. Uh, the is, this, this Snow White movie was. I think it was. Uh, you made it last year? I can, I can really double check it later, but the thing is. But this is very interesting to watch. I mean, this is the movie was good, just. Uh, it shows to be a bit disrespectful to what's doing by. Yeah, the marketing team. Yeah. And that shows a big ass risk you're taking when you are, well, you're not keeping a leash on the marketing. Yeah, and this was in a small animation team that is based in, I think, Hong Kong or something? It had to be in the voice actors and all that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go this way now. <laughs> now that we can break through all of this. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there was like <laughs> 15 minutes of just walking in a circle. What's this? A coffee mug. Security faculty log number 2312. This is Jimbo <laughs> reporting. <laughs> the doctor has gone mad. The security systems have been modified to target all personnel in the compound. Most of my colleagues have either been killed or turned into one of those things. I am fleeing via one of the surface level escape pods. And though I am unsure I'll survive the trip back, my heart will always belong to the shores of Earth 2. Over and out. Earth 2? Okay. That's <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't I didn't expect I'd be able to blow that up. Yeah. You commit a, a heretical act, my good sir. You blow perfectly fine copy mod. I keep overlooking these things. Uh, by Earth 2, I, I hope he doesn't mean that uh, Earth 2. Uh, these things. Uh, we've already gotten. We've already been through here. Uh, I hope he isn't meaning that so called game that some people are working on, which has been getting a lot of controversy lately. You may have heard about that. No, I haven't heard of it. I do know Earth 2 is a very important name for second Earth. True, but th there is there is a quote-unquote game in the works at the moment called Earth 2, and to put it shortly, it's a, a scam, and it's not a, not a usual scam like a Ponzi scheme or multi-level marketing or a such and such. It's actually a bit of a mix of all of them. Oh. Cartridge module. Kiki, you got a cartridge. How quaint. You unlocked the bark palette. <laughs> it's a literal color palette. Access your menu to try it out. Over and out. Okay, uh, where is that? What? Ah, uh, yeah, we saw this before. Uh, let's give this a try then. <laughs> uh, just little extras. What the heck? Just this me flashbacks. Yeah, we've of been my, here. Before. One of my half brothers, the uh, father, stayed in. Okay. I think I told it before, but it is me. There was something wrong with it. Uh, you, have a, you have heard of black and white movies, right? Uh, of course, <laughs> I've been more than long. I've been alive more than long enough to know about them. Yeah, I'm not that dumb. This, this uh, thing decided to be different. It decided to be black and yellow. <laughs> okay. It used to depend. You can have color, just fine, and then somebody. Yeah, something happened with only the black and yellow. So indeed, I have watched Dino Riders a few times in black and yellow. Uh, something's supposed to happen here. I guess this is the entrance to the next area. But... Oh, oh, it's an elevator. Oh, it's Kiki. You've reached the Nexus. All roads lead here. Think of it as a hub of sorts. <laughs> Nexus already means the same. Oh, damn it, you! It's a good song. But I don't have it in my head. Anyway, we need to find the laboratory entrance. Let's see what you got, Kiki. <laughs> Over and out. Uh, yeah, that sounds like something in the. You know, this is the main PC. Hello, PC. Seriously. No need to greet me as if I am one of your own human. Um. Let's cut to the chase. See these signs. We need to condemn the consent, PC. Yes, I see them. Very good, human. Well, this sign needs means broken. You want to turn them all into check marks. Like this. This is a check mark, human. <laughs> Here is your progress so far. Hum. Excessive flooding in the product, not good. Heater core is still affected by severe overheating. Ventilation system is all clogged. Nasty stuff. 
you can only grant allow access if all malfunctions are repaired. What a contemptible machine. Let's go, kitty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, it sounds like probably something with... I, I don't know much about screens and stuff, but yeah, there's obviously something wrong in the display diodes or something. Oh, hello. Yeah, I think we're back on our iPhone to use for not a flat TV. You want to basically like those big, funky, uh, funky ones. Uh, yeah, they, those would be more susceptible to damage, I think. Yeah, uh, one thing I would tell people to do as a public service is if you want to use two TVs, I would say a four and one thing, don't hit the grenade. And I'm here to do it, like you did. And it's so not, here's the thing if you break it, it TV to you like that, especially from the back. He will throw like a cannon going off. And by that, I mean loud. Okay. And Blood Egg, I think he actually started a few neighbors around the world. What the heck was going on? <laughs> but no, no, he had to find a sort of a TV in a bad in the yard. Yeah. The elevator activated. Uh, I'm kind of lost my train of thought now. <laughs> okay, you've made it to the aqueducts, Kiki. Well done so far. Now to drain this water. Now. Well, drain the water, and you can finally stay dry. There are three drains that you need to find. It should be connected to the corridor. Easy. So I, I can never tell if you're listening <laughs> over and out. <laughs> I should probably change the eject button to something that is a bit less easily touched. Hello, is that? It's a it's a kitty sub. <laughs> okay, and he's got this. Yeah, that's a sonar on the side. Wait, what? Can't eat calamari. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, oh, it's not only an anime thing, but I can't eat for a few. Let's... Yeah, let's do a little recap to see if I can collect my thoughts again. Uh, got a little list. Yeah, that's blocked. And I don't have rockets. I made a quick list of games I'm thinking about streaming at some point. Uh, that is new, that I didn't didn't say earlier. A uh, policy change of testing games out beforehand, which I probably should have been doing months ago. And Hello. Uh, yeah, end screen, that I might change that to uh, unify that between the Twitch videos and the YouTube videos because, yeah, <laughs> processing a two and a half hour video it does take a bit of time, <laughs> even with uh, how good my computer tends to be. But that's still uh, over an hour that it keeps busy, and so that I basically can't do anything else on the computer. Well, I probably could try, but uh, yeah, that would increase the chance of something messing up. Yeah, cool. If you like, keeping track of what? Track of what? 
look at the low screen. Yeah, there's a timer there. Wait, is that how long we've been playing? Uh, from the, I'm guessing so, yeah. So, let's huh. actually... Yeah, I think that might be a current uh, session timer, because we've, we've been at this for longer than 24 hours. And it's been... Right. Yeah, the, looking at the stream timer, it is it's three minutes shorter. So, huh. yeah, it's a session timer. Yeah, my clock says 20, 25. So it's very important for the timer here. Yeah, I'm guessing that's put in to keep people from playing too long, perhaps. And we are taking a big risk like this, but we're supposed to because this is a cat-only uh, passage. Unless, uh, <laughs> unless our security bro but gets a, a, a ball for him. Yeah, and we are talking to you see that the end of the time to make you realize, yeah, I need a certain amount of walk through. I've been at least for two hours. We need to remember this suit does not like water. We should probably stop shooting the doors with rockets. Oh. Another boss. Hello. 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 Okay. Simple enough. And I need to hit the center parts. Okay. Hello. Uh, yeah, those are the changes I'm planning for now. To basically make con to make better content in general, and to make things easier for <laughs> all of us. <laughs> missiles again. But now he's moving. What was the last word there? Where is the first bar? The other part is it is to be the skill. Well, it's all right. Yeah. Okay, that must yeah, that, that was a mini boss. Hey Kiki, remember those drains I mentioned? Anyway, that cat-sized treadmill should train the top level. <laughs> really cat-sized. I must say, I, I do like the concept with this, that basically, uh, yeah, having a weaker form that is more agile and more acrobatic and uh, armored form. That's it. One down, two to go. Over and out. It, it mixes up gameplay reasonably enough. I do like it. I want to say, I can't ever wonder if this Christmas will be a new situation. This was you flooded, huh? hmm? you see yourself doing this with Inky? Uh, Inky would be too uh, annoyed to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Inky, we're getting quite a lot of health. I'm, guess I'm guessing we don't really need all of these. But it's just... Well, like in many Metroid games, it's, it makes things easier the more you explore. Yeah. It can also be a train of uh, 
Yeah, the break is from the platoon from the off uh, that you may need on those 10 4. We'll have to see for now, though. The robot probably could get back up here, but it's e actually, yeah, these doors need to be shot. Hmm. Can I actually make this jump? Just about. Okay. With the water lowered, we can go down, well, lower, and see what else there is to solve. <laughs> okay, the one thing that is a bit annoying is those flashes on the when we are well, <laughs> when we activate those things. Yeah. Okay, open this up. But then again, those flashes were very common back in the day. True. But that doesn't mean... Yeah, it's not much, so it, it probably won't set off anyone's photosensitivity. But still... Yeah, that's something that people would prefer to be avoided. And hello. Okay, we need to... Yeah. And it's locked. So, I feel like so if you put the box in flat enough to react, then we're going to have to a warning uh, on the game. True. Though there have been some occasions of people, of, uh, with uh, Cyberpunk recently, there was a part in it that was causing ep epileptic attacks, and they didn't put in a warning on that, which is one of the many, many reasons that people uh, were pissed off about him. Okay, that game, even without playing it, and in trades and stuff, I feel like, yeah, that before we did they have a warning. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking about getting it some at some point, but probably on discount, because as always. <laughs> But uh, yeah, CG Project Red in general is a good game. They did make the, the Witcher games after all. But uh, they were being very arrogant with how they've been going with Cyberpunk and such. They were the high output arrogant one. They were the one making the game said, This is not ready for another year. What the heck are you doing, boss? Hey, yeah. Uh, Sadly, sometimes the only way you can hit those people is by, well, protesting with your wallet, as people would say it. Yeah. So, yeah. Maybe even when before, I think not many people know that, and uh, they hope to know by now that, many developers were again releasing the game for the next year. But they knew that the game was not free. And I said in my friend that were all hyped about that. You the pandemic, you should probably be ready for maybe a week or a bit longer. So people look for long back for many years for it. But maybe it will take another two years due to the pandemic. But yeah. I think like part of them was it was people been waiting for it to took so many years. Yeah, and at, at some point then you People start you know, start to rush or start to feel like they have to get it out now or something like that. Yeah, in this case, what the hell you are? For the whole world to see you, if you're not ready. Yeah, ho hopefully, yeah, hopefully they'll make, yeah, hopefully they'll uh, take a lesson from it and not let hubris get to them in the future. Yeah. And also, what the heck is that? Uh, sort of blowfish. <laughs> and oh, I see oh, a passage for Kiki on the side. Okay, it's so weird. Do you see it's really cool? Uh, see I what? I thought it was a <laughs> No, those are uh, big ass, uh, over exaggerated anime lips. No, no, those I understand a bit. 
to its own unveiling your smoke views. I was wondering, how many mouse does it have? I think this was a three mouthed monster. <laughs> okay, that's blocked. That's... Uh, hello. Hey, thank you. Luckily, this facility seems to have an infinite amount of these robot suit robot suits. Okay, um, okay, I can see why this one will not be in the facility with short, short of a time. And I like a camera flash. Okay, this looks like it should be able to move. But if we jump yeah. out, yeah, I get to. Yeah, we need to cross this with Kiki, and then probably. <laughs> not, not blow up. There's probably a button somewhere to get that moving, so we can bring the suit over. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm trying to think of what sort of game uh, or franchise could work with, uh, yeah, having a mech suit and then also be able to eject from it to well, deal with things outside of it. Uh, Sam, with, it wouldn't work with Metroid unless you somehow turn her armor into like fallout power armor. Uh, oh, I see. There's a treadmill it here. Then her the full side of things and just move that way with two people. Yeah, another game I was thinking about with that was Warhammer 40k, but that doesn't work because that armor is is basically attached to them. So yeah, if anyone yeah, wants yeah. to figure out that could this could be a, the basis of a new IP, I I think. I think I mean, it can work with some uh, uh, power armor uh, over that kind of mech suit in Warhammer, like the Tau one, but the Dreadnought, yeah, the Dreadnought is basically a dead person inside a suit. Yeah. Or basically, he's not alive enough to be placed inside one. Yeah, if anyone were to, basically, basically if the people who made this were able to uh, turn it into a falls, uh, I was going to say full game, but this this is a, mm, I'm trying to think of, the, like a bit, like if they were able to turn this into a bigger game with uh, maybe better graphics. Or, the graphics in this aren't bad, but they are highly stylized, so... Oh yeah, what I'm basically saying is this game, but uh, bigger, maybe a bit less silly. That, that, could, that could make a really good game, probably. Well, I've heard of those games. <laughs> uh, they've, ne they've never really seemed like much to me personally, but uh, it might be, uh, yeah, judging a book by its cover and all that. Yeah, and I'll not too much either, but I, but I do know who. This food is on the top of my head. Okay, this thing is almost done. It's a very good song, basically. <laughs> okay. I might have to look at that at some point then. Yeah, it, it, it's one of those songs you more go a lot along with. Is what I can uh, simply say. Turning away a little bit to see if I can change something over here. For some reason, Discord has been getting a bit soft with the audio output lately. So let's oh. see. 
Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see. Can you look in your settings, voice and video, and and turn the output volume up a bit? Because I, it doesn't seem like I can turn up your volume on my end. But it might be a bit far away for me. Uh, can you look at it now? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's the problem. I was, I was being away from the mic. By <laughs> accident. <laughs> okay, that, that explains that. Yeah. They were, I probably mean away from the mic. Automatically, they got to shoot him through in it. Okay, one more drain left. Stay motivated, Tiki. You got this. Uh, yeah, we're good. We're making a good progress with this. Uh, I I doubt that we'd be able to finish this in this uh, stream. Uh, things how things are looking, unless the ending comes up really sudden or something. But yeah, we could we could play this another time as well. And if that ends up being short, we can just tag something on the end of that. Well, that could work. You still hear me well, I hope? Yeah. Good, for now I'm turning my head to speak into the mic. Okay, this is where we uh, were Turn myself around. You should have my chair turning away from it. There we go. A new entrance open for Kiki. <laughs> Another color palette. Okay, which one is this? You'll unlock the starboard palette. <laughs> Access your menu to try it out. Over and out. Oh, God. Ba I like basically all these changes is like the the background really and how uh, strong the white of the environment is showing. Yeah. The most of them were a bit more crude in appearance. Fish and dry land. Let's see, there's one more, and if this is showing all the rooms that are available, it's going to be at the bottom. Though I do see, okay, I figured this out now, it's <clears throat> on the left of the main shaft, you, are see, you can see three boxes outlined, right dots, but two of yep. them have open sides. So that means that there are still unexplored rooms beyond that, I'm guessing. That, that is a good little design bit. For now, though, we have something on the main shaft to deal with. If we can get there, that is. So that's that's probably still drains. Uh, yeah, just just to get to the point again. If peop if the if the creators of this could do this in like a 16 or 32 bits, or uh, <laughs> that that could re look really good if they could work together with uh, some bit artists or something. Oh God, I think I remember the East are doing like that. Look at the same one. Okay, we have. I I, I will look it up later. I know the YouTubers played it. Okay. Uh, do you mean recently or some time ago? Uh, not here. Okay, I, I don't remember hearing game. about a game yeah. like that. I forgot if it was a demo for a game that was going to be released or not. Difficult. But it was very... ...Eaton's uh, inspired. Okay. Or Eaton's Mech anime inspired. Okay, I guess... Maybe Mac no Mac Warrior is much bigger than that. Okay, so there's a bit of a 
bad idea to open that part up. Yeah, unique name, actually. Okay, we'll, we'll look into that later then. But it's a uh, yeah, I should probably rebind the keys a little bit. Uh, can I do that from here? No. Because this, using the shift key to shoot is a bit awkward. Hmm. It's, can we? Nope, but we can't. We need to shoot through that as well. Okay, this is a dead end for now. Back up and around, or well, the way the progress is probably to go down because the, <laughs> the lost area still needs to be drained. So we might as well go look, yeah, go look there and do that. <laughs> okay, that one almost got me. Well, the first one still got me, but the second one didn't. Mommy. Yeah, and it seems they're timed. So let's just mind our own business and move on. Uh, 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 here's another sub. What's over here? A bunch of frogs. <laughs> Yeah, but gets our good bread. Yeah, but we not used to the moon to have. It's more like it's pretty easy for me to bring over. Come on, away with you. Uh, oh yeah, something else that uh, supposedly OBS has some way to record audio uh, or audio different different sources of audio uh, separately. So I'm going to look into that to well maybe maybe as things need balancing out more in the post in the post stream processing. Right. It won't help on stream. <laughs> But at least uh, after the stream, if uh, the audio levels are off, I can fix it there. Is that so? Um, and there we go. And there's another treadmill. So get that out of the way, okay. And if they if they be cheeky, they'd make this one times. If I and they're not being cheeky, okay. Uh, I spoke of Metroid Prime 4 earlier, and I don't think there has been news on that, other than that it's still in the works. But I am curious of how they will go with, how they will play it with that, because the last Metroid well, not the last, but when I played Metroid Prime 3, it was on the Wii with the motion controls and such. And uh, yeah, that, that was very pleasant. So I wonder if they'll go with motion controls as a possibility for Metroid Prime 4 as well. Maybe. 
we still gonna be on the switch, so yeah. And Might the the Joy-Con controllers have most controls in them, so it could be done. Tiki, I'm getting a strange reading. Is this a dead end? Meow. Squeak a tail, a water brat. Oh, it's another mouse. Disgusting. A laughing mouse. Am I imagining things again? Tiki, exterminate. <laughs> yeah, come on, we're, we're a cat in a sub. Not uh, a Dalek. Okay. <laughs> uh, unexpected. <laughs> We're extending a bit, mousy. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, it also works with the other ship, of course. That. But uh, yeah, to assume is to make an ass out of you. Okay. Oh, I can also just hold it. It is basically a gatling gun in the front of this thing. Maneuvering there. Drag mouse. Okay, but <laughs> it's been a while since I've even put button mass like that. You, Diggy, you did great back there. And this rat problem will definitely be in my report. Let's get moving. The final train will be ahead. Actually, I don't. I was just. I just uh, think about something. It, like. I very much doubt it would happen, but Nintendo lately has been more uh, willing to work with indie developers. Where I'm not really sure you could call these people indie since they're working with uh, a major publisher. But they they were willing to uh, they were willing to hand over or allow the use of this Lens of Zelda license to an indie developer, the one who made Crypt of the Necrodancer. Oh, she unlocked Cat Out of Water. So, yeah, I'm thinking maybe if this game made a big enough splash, which I, I somewhat doubt, maybe it could lead to them working with uh, Nintendo and maybe make a sort of a, a Metroid spin-off <laughs> like this. Wishful thinking, but uh, th that could be very that could be very fun if they did. Maybe, maybe they re re realize there are many good uh, talent in the in the in the game industry, so they really all reach out to see, look out look up for new talent to bring into Nintendo. Yeah. Or there's always so much you can do with Mario. I think my fan is being recorded on the mic because I see uh, the soundbar go up and down when it moves around. Yeah, it, it spikes when it's facing straight forwards to it. So maybe let's turn the turning off and face well, you in a way that still hits me but doesn't blow into the mic. Turning again now. Specifically turn that off just now. Oh, okay. If I turn it forcibly, it pops back into move mode. 
I'll just turn it off for now. That's the last one. Way to go, Kiki. Time will get back. Time to get back to the Nexus. <laughs> hmm? Pretty hot uh, from the accident from that. But a bit too much uh, bubbles uh, in one go. <laughs> from a drink. It's still quite a bit in here that we haven't seen. We'll see at least part of it now. Having been here before, I, I think I just lit up the entire room since it's one big one. A segmented one. Let's what you is just down? With a rocket? Yeah. <laughs> because why not? Hello, another. Uh, just a combat room. Simple as that. What do we have here? Spin jump module. Oh no! Uh, Nintendo is going to sue. Kiki, you got the jump spin. The spin jump. <laughs> Your space in midair, cross gaps, and harm enemies. Man, you're really powering this suit up. Over and out. I get the feeling someone is starting to feel a bit inadequate. <laughs> and we can still shoot whilst doing that. Wait. Okay, we can only do it once. Yeah, that, that looks more like Sonic. Oh. It looks pretty unusual with the camera kind of invisible like that. Yep. But yeah, I don't think it, it, it's not a kind of speed trap. Or many games have had using that kind of uh, speed jump. Yeah. They may call themselves the inventive for it, but as they look, people like it. Yeah, the, the Nintendo's version, or at least Metroid's version, is called the Screw Attack. So unless they specifically call it the Screw Attack, they probably dodge everything. Or, well, because it's been used so often, it's used so often, it's basically a uh, lost uh, specific copyright or something. It's yeah. It's too vague. A spinning attack on a double jump. It's that's going to be hard to copyright. Yeah, I put a screw attack is actually the thing where we have the attack over the screw. It is going to make us a lot more mobile though, as it's already showing. It reminds me. I have something to do. From Disney. Okay. Apparently they tried to copyright Loopy. What? Did they try to copyright? Loopy! Yeah. Yeah, of course. They failed, but they supposed to copyright the normal Loopy. Yeah, you're going to need uh, less... More sp With copyright you need specific wording. Yeah. But they are, they're funny enough, though, they're not on fan. How can it be so busy thing to could copyright the name of a Norse god? Yeah, be, be, because uh, you have, you always have idiots like that in the office. Yeah. Who either, no, either they're ignorant or they're idiots in that they just don't know what, what the subject matter is about in the hello. Yeah, and you would feel like you should understand that. Sure, many of their Disney movies are based on uh, public domain things, but I can only put like their own version of it. Yeah. So, like, mythological monkey, everyone can use. 
But uh, yeah. the Loki in green gold with the curved horns and the staff and all of that. Uh, that you, you can copyright because that is specifically Marvel's Loki. Yeah, I don't even think that the Loki in the did even use the uh, helmet. Uh, well, he made it blue, but Loki made of gold, I think. Okay, is there something hidden over here? That shot. Yeah. Nice. Okay, we're going to need something else for that. It's probably a grappling hook, and we are two health. <laughs> okay, enough screwing around. Yeah, only two in on me. I think there was something here that we can't pass, but we pass at the moment. Maybe with the spin jump we can now. Yep. Yeah, I get the feeling we'll find a grappling hook later on. Because, well, those hooks <laughs> look pretty much like you would have to use a grappling hook on them. What's this? Laboratory log of Dr. Heinrich, day 424. This job is very taxing. The defense weapons they have us developing are inhumane. I cannot understand how that which causes such devastation could be created in the name of galactic security. Not to mention, the security personnel, they make me feel as if I am back at the academy. Eating alone at the lunch, at lunch, as they make jokes at my expense. <laughs> Luckily, my contract here expires after one more year. I hope that diligence will help the time pass swiftly. So basically, he was getting bullied, <laughs> like back in high school. Yeah, and also, I noticed they made a stereotype. Hmm? They made it. They made him sound German. Had a stereotypical German scientist named Heinrich, and of course, being half bald. Yeah, like Einstein-ish. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. What the? What the heck was that? Yeah, blue went orange. I, I am not familiar with that color combo, and it looks horrible in that amount. Yeah, it may have been from one of those um, old Amiga or. Atari consoles, because those things went through quite a few uh, color schemes of their own. Oh, right, yeah. I, I, can, I can think the blue and orange was the, the color for a band or something. And the only color for a game? Uh, no. Yeah, nope. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a bit too much. It did say earlier that the spin jump also hurts enemies, so we should probably look at that using it for combat perhaps as well. Yeah, but the considering you can't be jumping into them anyway. You might just well kill them when you're actually can jump into them and kill them. Yeah. Another useful thing about the timer at the bottom of the screen is that I don't need to check the <laughs> The stream timer. Actually, it's it's different compared to my clock now. For I think because quick you died, 
He got on uh, on sync with my clock. Yeah, it's uh, the stream timer says one hour and seven now, so an hour and four minutes. So, yeah, it, but at least it'll help with guessing it, getting a guess at the time. And let's hope that this thing is less nauseating. Coffee tell? stain. Okay, it works. It's basically the basic one, but uh, a bit lighter. Actually, let's just look, take a quick look through these. Nope. Yeah, let's let's give that one a try for a bit. Like none of these are bad except for that port one. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Actually, now that I think Earthworm Jim had some gameplay like this as well. Yeah, Jim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're right there. I remember actually seeing that game and this 3D game. Yeah, the 3D game didn't go as well like people had hoped. I, I, yeah. I don't think I've actually played any of his games, but I have seen the show. And we're not reaching that. Yeah, I think a bit of the show. I, I might like it now, but as a kid, I did not like it at all. Let's see something up here. And I actually saw a video about it, and apparently what they what people got was not what the developers wanted to give out. They wanted to give out a proper game, but yeah, the higher up decided, no, let's do this thing. And, and yeah, it was almost ready to release, and they had to remake the entire game from scratch on an extreme deadline. Yeah. So. That was a case of the higher up screwing the game over extremely. Yeah, number one rule of video game business should be don't rush something out the door. Because people are going to notice and people are going to get pissed. Yeah, and you know what? You should never tell the developers, scrub this, remake it in two weeks or something like that. Yeah, like yeah. they spent a few years. Maybe it could call the original creator for help. And like sometimes and sometimes it does work to redo something from the start, but not in such a short timeline. Yeah, like, it was, it was basically almost done. Like, if it was like a, one or two months away, and they said, scrap it, we don't like it, we make it. Yes, yeah, uh, we do. This time of time, like, come on, just no. I get the feeling this is the reactor with the heat core. Hey, Tiki, looks like you found the heater core. Yeah. <laughs> this area is um really hot. We're going to want to stay inside the mech for now. It's not safe for you out there, okay? Gigi, once it cools down, you can play all you want. Okay, so I... Be safe, kitty. Over and out. Uh, I get the feeling the moment that I pressed it... Oh! It doesn't even allow us to eject. Good. Which basically but means that if we did eject, it'd be an instant kill, probably. Yes, I think there needs to be that a little accidental key of that. And what does this have to say? <laughs> Laboratory log of Dr. Heinrich, day 637. The robotic defense weapons I have been developing are terrifying. They have been 
concerned, I can't rid myself of a feeling of pride. I truly am an excellent engineer. Despite that, they still send me instead of the maintenance crew to repair this faulty heater core. What? Humiliatingly below my pay grade. Speaking of which, they dropped off a very sweet dog to my lab the other day. They called it defective and told me to make one of my freak creations out of it, or something of the like. A misunderstood creature, not unlike myself. He is easily more intelligent than most of my colleagues. The dog seems to like me. I have yet to get the name him. Hmm. Why do we get the feeling that that dog is going to be the end boss? Yeah. yeah, the game is called Gato Roboto, not Doggo Roboto. <laughs> Though it'd be kind of it'd be kind of fun if they made a sequel to this called that. Do I have to eat? Do you have to eat? Grub? What? Don't all the things look like donuts. Okay. What do you have to eat in the room that uh, gives the illusion of it? Could be, because they are, they've added swiggles to every single thing now. To, uh, to emulate this, <coughs> to emulate uh, air distortion. I'm kind of going to have now with things that have been super hot in the room at the moment. Okay, that, that fireball had ice. Oh god. It's hot. Flamethrower oh. drone. It takes multiple <laughs> rockets. Hmm. Flamethrower robots in the heater room. Yep. What the heck? And I see a Kiki passage. Of course, can't eject. Do you really need to shoot down the rocket? No. <laughs> I have to say, I was kind of expecting uh, that when we'd hit, he'd get to the heater room here. That uh, the temperature on the missile launcher would rise as well. Oh, you're all right. it's, it's constantly at uh, 21 degrees, and when we fire, it throws it up, and if we fire to sweeten, it overheats. Uh, yeah, this is a simple game. It's not like an immersive sim or something. Yeah. I mean, if you were to have it in an upper room, it would make it be level too hard. I keep forgetting that it pushes me back a bit. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. But they can burn up on their rockets. And uh, just combat him. Okay, you're new. Oh, <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, impressively easy. And I don't care who flop it is. Stay on until the bots are destroyed. Yeah. Okay, a <laughs> different tour than I was thinking. Hmm, looks like the path is blocked by lava. You'll need to stop the lava flow somehow. Keep moving forward and see what you find. I believe in you, Kiki. I have to say that Kiki is a cute name. Yeah. It is. And it's, it's basically short for Kitty Kitty. And what is it you say when you're trying to get the attention of a cat or lure it over? Here, oh, Kitty God. Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> and the flames are immortal. Again. Yep. Is there a way to transport lava to fires? Uh, it would depend on how on the heat resistance of the piping. Uh, there's probably materials that pipes could be made out of that would be lava resistant or lava proof. Yeah, I'm guessing s certain ceramics or stones would be would have a high enough uh, hello heat resistance. Intruder, intruder, stop right there. What's that smell? Gasp, is that a little kitty in there? I haven't seen one of those in years. I'm gonna melt you like a furry popsicle. Quite simple. The start up, change up. See? Okay, simple enough to dodge the balls. Yeah, I can. Just, uh, <laughs> I can feed you your own bombs, apparently. Okay. I'm not seeing a health bar again with this. Back to using the other shift so my other arm can do something as well during all of this. 
Nope. You are a lot tougher than you look. I accidentally skipped the first bit there. Kitty. But I am not the last of my kind. And the lava that flows through our pipes will heat our family's coals until time immemorial. Brother, avenge me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that does not sound good. So, no, we can't get out yet, still. Wait, that means that something else is still causing all of this heat. Hmm. And I just remembered one game that is sort of similar to this, and is also a sort of Metroidvania. Uh, Headlander. That, that might also be by developer. Published by Devolver Digital. Hmm. It's a fun game as well. And yes, I have I do have the plans for streams eventually. Well, what the head the land in the center? Yeah. I th I think it was made by people who were involved with psychonauts. Huh. Or no, maybe not. Games. Someone who is known for quirky games. So, a good chance that it is also <laughs> involved the Psychonauts people. We can now go here with that boiler gone. And. Okay, mini boss. Okay, these look like mechanical strike guys. Yeah. I th I think the I think the ones with the helicopters in Mario are called fly guys. So you could say they are pretty fly for a shy guy. That was a music reference, just <laughs> to make sure I hope. You know, you're not freaking me with that one. You're not freaking me with that one, Miriam. Let's not, not get into the fire. <laughs> Take the shot for your robotic friend there. He looks not from now he goes around. Okay, yeah, those guys are heat resistant. Yeah, those crab things look like the uh, crab idol in the house. That way. Once we bounce off something, we get out of the roll of the spin attack. The spin jump, though. Oh, actually, actually, now that I think about it, uh, it's not called the spin attack. The screw attack. It's the, the spin attack. Is uh, what you unlock with Samus to do the spinning. The screw attack is to keep doing it. It's the one where you uh, can continually uh, spin jump in the air. Uh, yeah, I don't know when they might when that might have shown up. I think oh. spin jumping has been part of Samus's uh, arsenal for quite some time. It was in the first game, and I played the first game. Okay. It's a, it's a very old game. Yeah. 
So the question is more like he did a quick week even in the 3D era. With this like it would be a bit uh, Oh, good to have it in the third person. Well, I don't know, I mean, first person. Yeah, that's why in the... Oh, this is a combat room. Uh, she does have it in the 3D games. It's just where, when you spin a ch when you spin jump in that, where you start, you, uh, it turns to third person. Hmm. What was the deal awkward? Actually, maybe I, I should you know, see if I maybe could get my copy of uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy to be on. Uh, that might be a problem. No, this is a little... Really? Uh, Nintendo is pretty uh, draconic with their copyrights. Yeah, they, they, they are very protective. They know what, what will happen if you're not careful with it. But the world is overprotective. Yeah, very very overprotective. Yeah, I think they also they realized a few years ago that they were all being overprotected and actually harmed the old game by doing so. Intruder alert, stop right uh, there. Yes, it was you. I know what you did to my brother. You ended his life prematurely. Before he had a chance to grow a mustache. <laughs> As the old saying goes, lava is thicker than blood. <laughs> My brother, I will avenge you. I, th I think it actually is thicker than blood because, well, it's molten rock, and rock is pretty thick. But <laughs> this guy does have a mustache. You notice it now! Yeah. I was a bit too focused on the text. I noticed it right away. <laughs> and I said, I don't know how I hope I speak to speak like a wheel for a wolf type. Okay, this guy has spikes in the walls and that little flame guy that has a shield. Uh, I have to say, oh, that one's new. Actually, it's not new, it's the, it's the bombs that the fly guys drop. I've watched uh, Market Player for quite some time. I think I first started seeing his stuff around the time that he was doing. He started with FNAF. Yeah, I watched it before FNAF. But I've, I've actually not seen much, if any, of his side stuff. I, I, I know that he has been trying to get into the acting business. And from what I've heard other people tell, he isn't terrible at this. Actually, probably pretty good. He is quite good. But, yeah, yeah, but I, I personally just have no real interest in seeing him much of that. Especially his uh, intro uh, things and. Uh, Oh, what was it again? Call it. Oh, what was it called? But it's not really good. We need to try to just meet the ball at this if you don't use it. I can't say I know that. I don't know which time they learn you. So, how badly they need to be this other place. 
Okay, I think he's almost there. The little jumping guy is a bit annoying because he keeps intercepting some of my rockets. Oh, there we go. No, no. This is not over. Because although my body may crumble and my heat may dissipate, my mustache will live on forever. <laughs> and no, it doesn't. Unless uh, that jumpy guy inherits it somehow. <laughs> and now, how do you have a mustache now? What? <laughs> it's even a locked mustache forever. Oh, there's a spike there. Okay. Oh, that reminds me of my own mustache at the moment. I respect my beard and mustache recently, today even. I realized that I thought it looked like uh, one of the. Empire Captain from War uh, Wuhan game. Okay. Except I still have, I'm not bald at the And I'm not grey uh, yet, but I'm gonna stop looking like them. I a few years I was in talk like them as well. Oh, oh, we do not want to go into that. <laughs> what? Okay, things are getting a bit trickier now, though it's more of me being reckless. Yeah, he built quite a bit, but not not intended. Gigi got a phase module. A what? Gigi, you got the phase module. Press O to use it. Zip past obstacles and zap through barriers. Absolutely dashing. Over and out. O. Which button? O. I'm, I'm pressing O, but it doesn't. I saw Did you dash. Uh, oh, you! Oh, oh, it was a weird you! Okay. Yeah, it, it looked like an O, but then on the O, they had a separate line. I was wondering, why did I do that? Yeah. Apparently, it was just a weird way to like a Q. Yeah, we can't go through anything. Solid. Which makes sense, otherwise this, this would completely break things. Okay, it has a short reload. Okay, well, let's see how useful that is in combat. Okay, I thought I would kill you. <laughs> it doesn't help if I dash into damage. Okay. And there we go. I hope this room is a safe room. Uh, nope. Where's the closest one? Okay, yeah, this is going to be a dead end. At least there must be something useful. This looks like the opposite of a room. It looks yeah. very unsafe. Yep. See? Very unsafe. You broke my point. Okay, where? Hmm. Let's let's retreat for a bit. Because I don't know where the last save was. Oh, 
Oh, oh come on, game. Okay, at least this is a safe room. <laughs> Just in freaking time. Some reason it doesn't always respond when I press it like that. Like the, the charge is a bit longer than what it's showing on screen. Hmm. Wait. Yeah, it, it takes a bit longer to charge than what it actually shows there. What the? Is that the is that the sound those drones make? Yeah, it's what those drones make. <laughs> I've been just killing them way too quick for them to make that noise. Oh. Hello. Okay, so it does continue on. I thought it was going to stomp into a room there. Ah, uh, another mouse. Psst. Down here, kitty. Who's there? State your name and rank. Squeak, 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 squeak. Sir? Really? Another rat? There is something really weird going on here. You only now figured it out. <laughs> Enough, Kiki. You know what to do. Oh, okay, that was a bit too much flashing. Okay. Oh, oh there was a flame service in it. Uh, that makes sense. And these side classrooms are on fire. So, okay, yeah, this is where things are going to get a bit more tough. I, okay, I can aim it. switching between flaming one of the classrooms and I think he just switched. Stop, okay, going across. Okay. That's new. Uh, okay. Oh, but he's draining. He's draining the lava from the floor. And we can't walk. And there we go. <laughs> I was intending to send a missile there. <laughs> Instead, I sent Kiki to her death. <laughs> okay, really, that is a bit too much flashing there. Yeah. Well, it is almost too much. At least it's not many different colors, which, because that is a lot more likely to cause epileptic attacks. Yeah. Hopefully I get the 
However, I do get very annoyed with it when it's too many fucking like. Like my eyes are very irritated. Yeah, I think most people have that because that irritates my eyes as well. Out of the fire. Okay, he's going to do the cross again. Enough, and there we go again. This. Oh, and he automatically breaks those, okay. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> he basically jousting. Under. But I think we can take this. Oh, God, come on. Yep. One button again. Uh, ah, sorry for missing you in the chat there, Ghost Toast. Hi to you back. Oh, welcome back. Yeah, I say uh, 12 minutes late to the reaction. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay. Let's go with less aggression in the attacks now. Okay, let's get the fire. Okay, I can, I can still control a bit with the arrow keys. So I can use those to aim down. Uh, whilst I jump across here, that is. And there we go, face change. That's yeah, two of health you already. You felt that skill. Timing. Yeah, I need to. I need to time those dashes when it's walking towards me. Just normally better. Or I can just. Or just not that. Out of the fire.
There we go. Oh, that was intense. Are you doing all right, Kiki? <laughs> Sweaty cat. Wait. Ow. Kiki, you're burning up. Well, I have good news. To cool the entire area, just destroy the heater tubes in the next room. Oh, and okay, we got heals from that. <laughs> That's very useful. What a car! Basically, our <laughs> our boss after the boss is the heating system. Is there going to be another one of those? <laughs> Don't fall back down, Kiki. Ah, looks like that did the trick. Kiki, the area should be nice and cool now. Now you'll be able to exit the map safely. Let's get you back to the Nexus and continue the job. Team the locked cool it. Why the music change as well suddenly? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> camera. Did not really agree with that. Can I oh I can jump on those? Coolant module. Dicky, you got the coolant. Now you can shoot three rockets before overheating. Ooh. Yeah. Over and out. Okay, that's going to be useful. Like to that wall over there. Yeah. <laughs> if we can oh, get uh, yeah. up there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, we're getting close up on two hours. And... Oh, come on. Yeah. Uh, I guess that means we have to go the long way around. Now there's a little fan underneath the missiles. <laughs> Is there anything hidden here? Seem like it has an exclamation point over it. Or on it. And now all of the lava has cooled into rock. Let's see. Yeah, the time down there is very unstable. You're not playing that long. Yeah. Digging bastards. Hello. Heretical master. No. Heretical master. No. I'm a heretical master. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, more health. 
Uh, it seems we are going to need this. Uh, this is going to lead back to the main shaft. And yeah, these things we can only seem to hurt when those heating cores are out, are exposed. Like that. There's nothing new over here except for that one room up there, but we can't. Well, we could go back to for that, but instead, let's head back to the Nexus. Um, okay, then. <laughs> going the wrong way. Okay, that sound these drones make so is just is just silly. Okay, yeah. What is not silly in this game? <laughs> Pretty much nothing. way see yeah so these yeah mobs are not really the right yeah uh, yeah it's, it's a simple game so simple AI and there's something down there Some of those rockets were hitting the pipe. Okay, are we going to find another, another cassette? Virtual cats. Oh no! Mm, yeah, no. Uh, virtual cats, virtual boy. The, vir the virtual boy had a red and black color scheme to uh, have the 3D effect work. We got what you agree with. I can see what many people did not like the virtual boy. Yeah. This is actually put a lot of my games into the people. There is something up there still, so let's detour a little bit. So I think we'll probably call it when we get back to the Nexus. Uh, especially now. Uh, uh, it's the hub area where we came from with the uh, condescending robot. Oh, right, okay, with a robot. Okay, okay. This was filled with lava earlier. Well, now it's a uh, 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 it cold with lava to down? No? I know... Well, I know volcanic glass is called obsidian, but I forget about anything... I forget about anything about when you harden lava, actually. Uh, 
and more health. Okay. We'll definitely be continuing with this next week. And have you found anything about that game you were talking about, maybe? Yes, no. No, because I didn't please accommodate with you. Yeah, we can look it up after the stream then. Yeah, I thought. Tomorrow, and, uh, look it up, uh, okay, the room down here. And you can see the yeah, yeah, it is getting late, 10 p.m. And another cartridge. Let's hope this one is less <laughs> vomit-inducing. Chewed gum. That's that's less worse than I expected. Let's take with this one. This one's the softest on the eye so far, except for maybe the <laughs> little soft palette. You Okay, I guess that means it looks like coffee. This is a bit too uh, bright, I'd say. It looks like the gamma has been pushed all the way up to 90 or something. Yeah. Let's at least get to the next area and see what the captain has to say there. just get something a lot more permanent in here but this is just just soft enough and generally not moved enough to work it's okay what do we have here <laughs> a, a gap that's just too big for a cat to First row. Yeah, speaking of, um, <clears throat> cats can get in a lot of places because if they can get their skull through it, then they can get through it. Oh dear. Yeah, I think I recall that. The only thing I can outdo them in that our minds is that they can squish their own skulls. Hey Kitty, we need to talk about something. Don't worry Kitty. I've got some intel about this area. The vents are kind of narrow, so in other words, you won't be able to rely on the mech here. Just take it slow and I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, I, I was expecting to be find the entrance a bit elsewhere, but it's the vent, so of course it would be off to the side. And why? Okay, I couldn't move down until I hit spacebar. Okay, so this will be a, a Kiki, oh, a Kiki only area or Kiki mostly area. Well, let's not go back yet. If I jump, 
Okay, Kiki can run up a bit with the walls. But I do need to jump constantly to go up. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Oh dear. And yeah, it seems to be all be dealing with air currents as well now. Uh, and of course, they put it low so we can't get the mech to spawn. Well, at least we can save. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm definitely looking up the developers of this game. Uh, see if they've done anything else. Actually, I can do that right now by looking at the Steam page. Gato Roboto. Who are these people? Come on, Steam. How are you being overloaded again? It looks like it because nothing on. Okay, there it is. Let's do a quick search instead then. Gato Roboto. And apparently I hit the caps lock somewhere. Come on, what is. Why are you being so slow? Are you being overloaded because of the sale again? Because, yeah, the summer sale is going on. Okay, yeah, it's not working, so I guess I'll have to look for the backup then. And just use <laughs> the internet. So what else have you people been making? But, uh... Doink Soft and published by Digital Devolver Digital. Okay, Doink Soft. Have they made anything else? It, they don't even have a, wiki, a Wikipedia page. So I'm guessing they haven't made much else of yet. Ah, the Steam page finally loaded. Okay, anything else under your belt? If this will load. Either way, this game this game is only seven bucks. So, so I'd the say nicest. <laughs> it's more than worth it. And there was a video I had not wait. It gives zero results. Hmm. Okay, apparently Gato Roboto is the only game they've released then, I'm guessing. Did okay. you Involved in another game? Uh, no, they're, they're, the studio is called Doinksoft, and when I search on them on Steam, it gives zero results. So I'm guessing that this game, this is the only game they've made so far. Uh, <laughs> but I have to say, if this is their first game, yeah, good work, guys. Yeah, good work. Yeah, uh, if they if they ever make any more games, I'll definitely be looking at them. And if they turn out to be as good or fun as this, I'll stream them as well. But for now, though, uh, yeah, Wait, no, not quit the title. Okay, enter works the same as escape, apparently. Make sure, yes. Okay, so. That'll be Gato Roboto for today, then. And I said I wouldn't look for viewers here anymore because, uh, yeah, that looks to be mostly bots in there. If you are not a bot, uh, sorry for assuming, but yeah, most of these streams are just in there with so many bots, with, with only bots in the chat, that it isn't really, yeah, it isn't really worth for me to look if anyone is watching or not. So, if you want to be, if you want to get a uh, mention, just speak up in the chat at some point. And speaking of, thank you for watching Ghost Toast, even though it seems you've left. Uh, sorry about responding so late. And of course, as always, special thanks to you, the Kier. Oh, you're most welcome. And yeah, tomorrow, two to four new games. Uh, otherwise, we'll. Uh, Otherwise, we'll continue with one of the uh, something Sunday extras that I have set aside. But for now, until then, until then, 
Until then. Until then. <laughs> I forgot my own outro. But I have not no, no, forgotten I this outro. How that?